Lucy uh, introduced some stuff today, and she introduced that, or she mentioned that I've been doing some reading, and sometimes it's dangerous, I guess. But I came across an article which is not Tai Chi initiated, but it mentions how Tai Chi mixes in or is compatible with, with uh, vestibular rehabilitation. I spent a career as an ear surgeon and ear doctor with dizzy people, trying to first distinguish whether the dizzy was because of something other than the inner ear, and then working with that or sending them on to therapy with a physical therapist to do various exercises. And this article mentions how Tai Chi contributes, which was very, very interesting. Um, the first was, um, oh, in one case, we don't mention, but in what we teach, there is some application. We don't, we, heretofore, we've not mentioned use or exercise of, of the ankle. And this vestibular rehabilitation says good ankle function is important for balance. And that's why we're taking Tai Chi for most of us. I presume none of us are trying to do it for martial arts. Okay, I'm not. I'm just trying to teach people how to move their bodies and strengthen their bodies. And one of the things her exercises today with, you know, taking yet another Chinese exercise, what she teaches, is uh, uh, Lutungan, and they do specific exercises for hands and wrists and for ankles. So that's where that's coming from. And then they, they have, uh, um, they had some concepts which really helped me put things in categories. You know, human beings are lumpers and splitters. Some guys want to go down every rat hole, and some guys say, just give me the basics of how all things apply. So lumpers and splitters. This allowed me to sort of semi-lump things together. The article said, Tai Chi helps you in terms of trying to learn or understand two concepts. One is postural orientation, and the other one is postural equilibrium. They're not quite the same, but they're, they're sort of related. Postural uh, orientation is just teaching you how different parts of your bodies uh, affect your orientation to the world. Uh, and one of the basic things we teach is Tai Chi posture, okay? You are trying to, if your head is sticking out this way, this becomes a liability. Or if it's back this way, it's a liability. So how you put your head, as well as other parts of your body, if you're going this way with one hand and you don't counterbalance, you're gonna keep going in this direction. Then, but if you bring it in, you consolidate and you center, okay? But this is the difference between being out here and here. And that's postural orientation. The other is postural equilibrium, which is you use your posture, how you put your body parts together. And I've discussed this a little bit in terms of you know, us trying to get to one stable position, substantial, and you're centered, okay? Versus, uh, and, and you can go to other ones. Throughout the whole, whatever form you, you, you're learning, you can pick that apart. And, and postural equilibrium is trying to stay in balance. Another word some people say, oh, you got poor equilibrium, that is, you got poor balance, okay? But trying to get into favorable postural uh, 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 equilibrium, hold your ball, everything is postural equilibrium. And then Tai Chi is trying to teach you strategies on how to move and yet maintain postural equilibrium. Well, I was, you, 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 you just did brush knee. Some of you did it in the way I think 
you take advantage of postural equilibrium, that is move your body in the optimum relationship to maintain stability through all the movements. For instance, it says higher than parallel. So you're down here and you're sort of centered, but you want to get really centered. See, you come here and here. That's why you can't, you can't do this. You, you are coming, you're swinging, and you're going to go that way. But to catch yourself from falling over, you're going to bring this over. But by the same token, you want to go back in this direction. But you have to somehow get yourself collected. So it's up high, collected, and you reinforce the collection. And then at your leisure, because you can come from here, this, this gives you one, one position of balance. You maintain equilibrium. This one as you're about to move. OK, so that's just an example. But as you do your Tai Chi, you, people are at different levels of understanding. Some are still just at sequence. If I just get my arms and legs in a gross approximation, that's good enough for now. And that's fine, depending on where you're at. But there comes a time for challenging yourself. You say, why am I doing this? What is the, the core meaning of this? Not in a martial arts way, but core meaning in terms of how do I maintain or, or develop good balance. And you think about the two concepts. Postural uh, equilibrium and postural orientation. What are my arms and hands and legs and the rest of my body doing in terms of affecting which way my body is going to be going? And then you use that, you establish what is equilibrium from the still standpoint? And then as you move, your postural relationships affect how well you move with equilibrium. A little bit long-haired, but sit down and think about it a little bit. It grows on you. <laughs>